Welcome back to our channel where we share updates and untold stories about Catherine, Princess of Wales and her royal family. Today we bring you some news. King Charles's shocking decision regarding Prince George has left Catherine in tears, signaling Prince William's ambitious future plans. Insider information indicates that King Charles's bold decision about Prince George has significantly impacted Prince William's overall strategy causing Princess Catherine significant distress. According to the source, Princess Catherine is dissatisfied with King Charles's plan to enforce a rigid conventional standard on Prince George, who is next in line to inherit the British throne. A trustworthy source within the royal household indicates that the Wales family is currently experiencing unease due to the young prince's upcoming encounter with a series of changes that may result in his separation from his siblings and the subsequent transformation of relationships within the royal family. King Charles has implemented several significant provisions for Prince George. Initially, Prince George will be required to travel alone, irrespective of the circumstances. Furthermore, once he reaches the age of 12, he will have to decide whether to enroll in a boarding school. Additionally, the royal family will appoint a mentor to oversee his adherence to their rigorous criteria. This effort is being made to train George for his forthcoming responsibilities while adhering to established royal protocols. The royal family follows certain norms, like limiting food intake at official events and refraining from public displays of affection, among other examples. One specific and ominous restriction prevents successors to the monarchy from flying together, this rule is in place to ensure the monarchy's continuity. However, we anticipate that Prince George will lose the privilege of traveling with all his siblings in the near future. The rule applies to all individuals in the line of succession to the throne, including William, his father King Charles, and his late grandmother, the former Queen. This suggests that Prince George might soon have to travel alone, without the support of his father and siblings. The limitation has a direct impact on those in the line of succession to the throne, guaranteeing the monarchy's survival in the event of a tragic occurrence. Measures have already been taken to ensure that George adheres to this regulation as he approaches his 12th birthday. George currently holds the third position in the line of succession. Princess Catherine is now facing difficulties in attaining emotional fulfillment. Known for her unwavering commitment to her family, she is reportedly struggling to choose between these two options. Her main focus, according to credible sources, has always been to prioritize her family and ensure that her children have a life that is as ordinary as possible. Her primary goal is to maintain a close-knit family unit, and the idea of Prince George being apart from his brothers goes against this desire. A recent assembly of the royal family, including King Charles, occurred at Balmoral to conclude their summer holiday. They are currently discussing potential strategies for Prince George. Princess Catherine is reportedly struggling to accept the decision because of concerns about the potential pressure it may place on her children's relationships, something she has always tried to prevent. Catherine is under psychological strain due to King Charles's choice to resume her royal responsibilities after the summer holiday. Both royal observers and experts have noted that this decision has the potential to impact the close family relationships that she values most. Prominent royal experts have expressed their views on the matter, recognizing that the regulation, however appropriate, should not overlook its effect on the family's emotions. Royal family historian Sarah Bradford asserts that the long-standing safety measure of segregating Prince George from his siblings during travel has proven effective for several generations. Princess Catherine's struggle with this issue is understandable, considering the significance she attaches to maintaining familial unity. Following a discussion with Princess Anne, King Charles graciously granted permission for Princess Catherine and the children to spend the summer at Balmoral, providing them with an opportunity to relax and indulge in leisure activities. The family planned to make the most of this period of relaxation, which would be their last opportunity, 
to truly enjoy uninterrupted time together before the implementation of the new constraints. Upon their arrival at Adelaide Cottage in London, the first phase of organizing Prince George's future will begin. Upon turning 11, the young prince will soon see significant changes in his travel arrangements and educational provisions. For a considerable while, there has been a regulation that forbids heirs from traveling together. When Prince William turned 12, the regulation came into effect, preventing him from traveling with his father and sibling. This limitation was implemented to ensure the monarchy's continuity in the event of a catastrophe. Although airplane mishaps are rare, the royal family has already experienced such calamities. In 1937, Princess Cecile, the sister of Prince Philip, tragically lost her life in an accident. In 1942, Prince George, Duke of Kent, the uncle of the Queen, died in a crash. In 1972, Prince William of Gloucester, the Queen's cousin, tragically lost his life while participating in an aviation demonstration. These incidents underscore the importance of the rule, regardless of its possible psychological consequences. Princess Anne will serve as the main mentor for Prince George. Although the situation may be emotionally challenging, there is a positive aspect to it. King Charles and Princess Catherine have reached a consensus on certain aspects of Prince George's upbringing. Princess Anne, renowned for her straightforward manner and unwavering commitment to her responsibilities, will mentor Prince George, who will also receive guidance from his father, Prince William. According to a trustworthy source, Prince George is quite satisfied with this mutual agreement. George is thrilled to have Princess Anne as his mentor. An insider said that he holds her in high regard and is enthusiastic about learning from her expertise. The primary goal of this mentoring program is to provide George with a robust support system, as well as knowledge and skills that will greatly benefit him in his future career pursuits. Princess Catherine and her children have suffered a significant psychological impact due to the changes within the royal family, which is a pressing matter that requires attention. While the rules aim to protect the monarchy, they could potentially cause challenges for a family that strives to maintain strong relationships. In the next few months, Prince George will face a challenging period as he adjusts to his unfamiliar environment. He will receive guidance from his mentors and unwavering affection from his mother. The tears shed by Princess Catherine are evidence of her profound dedication to her family and the difficult circumstances she is experiencing resonate with parents worldwide. The royal family diligently strives to maintain a delicate balance between upholding tradition and addressing the unique needs of its members, while the global community observes with empathy and goodwill. Thank you for watching the video. Please provide us with your feedback, and for now we bid you farewell.